a historical event, WrestleMania 10 yeah. Madison Square yeah. Garden, Sunday afternoon, March 20th, with an unprecedented match. And who better to give it to you? Shawn Michaels, a ladder match. Two belts hanging at the top of Madison Square Garden, along with all those people hanging from the rafters. The Heartbreak Kid is going to be up there taking what is rightfully his, the icy belt. Yo, boy toy, you say you're the real champ? I say I. Too much confusion. WrestleMania 10, Chico? Somebody gonna decide. If it takes a ladder, man, no problem. There's no rules, no ref, no time limit. Somebody, Chico, leaves WrestleMania the real champ. Tell him, Chico. These two have been battling since the fall of 1993. HBK was stripped of the Intercontinental Championship due to inactivity. Right. And after that completely unjust action, Razor Ramon defeated Rick Martel to claim the vacated title. HBK then showed up with his own Intercontinental Championship and repeats Razor Ramon's claim as champion, claiming HBK never lost the title. The only way to settle this is here tonight. Both championships are hanging overhead. The first person to retrieve both titles is the undisputed Intercontinental Champion. Big elbow. Motherfucking Swift Caddy Cool. And another one. Ramon, not known for his air. Watch out. Oh, we got him. I just can't get over what we saw. That was so great. Razor Ramon sending HBK a message. If you want my Intercontinental title, you're going to have to take it from the bad guy. Well, I think HBK would disagree with you about who the true Intercontinental Champion is, JR. HBK wasn't fulfilling his contractual obligations and was stripped of the Intercontinental Championship. If HBK has a problem with that, he should look in the mirror. But he never lost the title, JR. He was wrongfully stripped of the championship. And now he has to win his own championship back. Oh, man. Both men are down, but the superplex is certainly devastating. Boy, there's no way he's going to be able to stand after that. Well, that's it. I feel like there's a remote real this how slow he is to react right now. Get the hell. Oh, the arrogance. Remember, there are no Get times hell, in Razor. this contest. This match could end up anywhere. He's bringing in the ladder. What are you shaking? And their opponent taken back into that ring. HVK dictating the pace, staying on top of Razor Ramon. Uh, Shawn Michaels is not laying down for anyone. He's the rightful Intercontinental Champion. Razor, the self-proclaimed bad guy, will go... Oh, that did the damage. But now both men are down. And think about what you're doing. Back into the ring now. And here we go. Back... Wow, I just don't know how. He could get up after something like that. That can cut you, break your bones. Simply put, permanent damage. You got oh, what a shot from that ladder. Come on, Rep. Get in there and get that thing. Smashes him with the ladder. Come on, Rep. Get in there and get that thing away from him. Right in the corner. Right in the ladder. Reversal. And there's the drop kick. Boy, did he get dropped or what? Oh, the elbow connects. Ooh. Ouch. That'll change how you're sitting in a hurry. Never before have we seen two 
extraordinary competitors compete in a ladder match at WrestleMania. I don't think I have ever seen HBK be tested quite the way he's being tested tonight against Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon is no one to take lightly. Combine. Razor off the ropes. Oh, look out. Razor Ramon's going down to the outside, right in front of us. When it matters most, HBK always rises to the occasion. It's easy to rise to the occasion We have a monster like Diesel lifting you up. Diesel coming in the tall clothesline. Clothesline right in front of the ref. Get your ass to the back. He's thrown out of the garden. Diesel's going to be thrown out of WrestleMania 10. This is definitely going to even things out. It absolutely will, King. Listen to this crowd. Listen to this response. Shawn Michaels is getting fired up. Just look at this. You can see the results from that move. And roll back into the ring now. Showing some disrespect here. And that one dropped him. Looks like the aggression is going to be turned up a notch. Back into the ring now. Wow, I just don't know how he could get up after something like that. Come on, Rick. Get in there and get that thing away. Smashes him with the ladder. Come on, Rick. Get in there and get that thing away from him. Some people call Shawn Michaels arrogant. One can't help but think that Shawn underestimated oh, Razor right. Ramon yeah. tonight. Come on, Sean. All right. I'll admit it. I'm a little worried now. I didn't... Scoop slam. Good grief. Razor Ramon's going down to the outside. What's Razor Ramon doing? He's removing the padding. The concrete is exposed. That's the sort of thing that ends careers, JR. The self-proclaimed bad guy will go to any lengths to defend his title here tonight. Here we go! Razor's Edge! Shawn Michaels in a desperation move sends Razor Ramon to the concrete. Boy, there's no way he's going to be able to stand after that. Back into the ring now. Folks, Ramon is just waiting to get his man in the right position. Now that's brute force. Razor Ramon is just incredible. And now constructing a diabolical setup with that ladder. Whoa! HBK dodged that. Sean sees the opening. Block the attack. He was able to reverse that. Folks, Ramon is just waiting to get his man. Now that's brute force. Razor Ramon is just incredible. And it appears to be a test of strength here. Oh man. I think so he's going to take him to the end. Oh, whoa. By HBK. What an 
impact from that kick. Big impact into the guardrail. Yes, it pulled on. That reverse swinging net breaker has claimed victory over many a superstar. Oh, reversed. Clothesline. Good night. Back into the ring now. Here we go. Look at this. He's just barely moving. He's up there, and he's starting to take down the title. He's just giving another good tug. Oh, no. Oh, no. How do you get up from that? And he wants to get out of there in the worst way. Heading back into the ring now. seen this time and time again when the chips are down when it matters most hbk Shawn michaels always rises to the occasion yeah, it doesn't hurt that hbk has he has it he's got the title some people call Shawn michaels arrogant here is your winner and new undisputed wwe intercontinental champion Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon has done it. He has captured both intercontinental titles. I can't believe it. Razor is the undisputed WWE intercontinental champion. But at what price? What did it cost him? I don't think either of these superstars will ever be the same. These matches leave a permanent mark on you. What a matchup with Shawn Michaels. challenges of my entire career. Because I was robbed of the title one year from WrestleMania, but I'll say one thing, when it comes to the excellence of execution, I got what it takes to get past Yokozuna. I'm gonna fight fire with fire. You are just another opponent, and I will wipe you out. You're looking at the champion. How is Bret Hart gonna keep himself in one piece against the colossal champion? We've seen Yokozuna chew up and spit out so many competitors. Does Brett stand a chance going into WrestleMania? The massive Yokozuna clashes with the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be at WrestleMania 10. This is Bret Hart's second consecutive WrestleMania main event against Yokozuna, and it's for the WWE Championship. Well, this all started when Lex Luger and Bret both won the Royal Rumble when they both touched the ground at the same time. That's right, King. A coin toss determined oh, who would face Yokozuna first. Luger won the coin toss, but lost his match earlier in the evening. Well... Bret Hart battled his brother and lost in the opening bout this evening. That loss has to weigh on the Hitman's mind. And that was Yokozuna really taking it to the Hitman. These two know each other so well. This is not the first time that they faced off for the WWE Championship. And it's never ended well for Bret Hart. Last year in the main event of WrestleMania 9, Yokozuna stole the WWE Championship with the help of Mr. Fuji, only to lose it 
to Hulk Hogan moments later. Come on, JR. Yokozuna won that match fair and square. Yokozuna he can't be held accountable for what Mr. Yo Fuji did. Dear Lord, those Larians can do so much damage. Watch it. He hits the canvas. Ooh. He used all his weight on that leg drop. Bret Hart takes the upper hand. Timing and what a direct hit. Wow. Andy strikes with a quick kick. Brett connected on that one. Oh, a great counter. What a flying headbutt. My oh my. Bret Hart remembers last year when Yokozuna defeated him for the WWE Championship. Brett is determined to not repeat the nightmare of WrestleMania 9. History has a way of repeating itself. Brutality. Yokozuna so dominating. Shoulders on the mat. No, only a two count for the hitman. What a kick out. That was right before the referee counted three. How can you keep the hitman down? Reversed. There's no way he's going to be able to stand after that. Oh, what a painful kick. If you remember back to last year, Bret Hart had Yokozuna in the sharpshooter until Mr. Fuji threw ceremonial salt God in the damn. hitman's eyes. No, no, no. Awesome. I saw it with my own eyes. The man right there, Yokozuna, squashed. That's it. He looks like he's trying for a pick, and the hitman gets a shoulder up. Man, this has been a great matchup. And he strikes with a quick kick. And a kick. Another kick. Down he goes, and down he goes. There goes the hitman to the top rope. Watch out! Wow! Talk about the skies being the limit. I don't like how slow he is to react right now. Now that's the way to turn it around. Watch it. Ooh. Down he goes. When you have a man the size of Yokozuna, it's impressive that anyone can hold their own against him. Well, it's one thing to hold your own against Yokozuna, but it's entirely another thing to beat him. Red Hart, the son of the legendary Stu Hart and trained in the famous Hart Dungeon, has been groomed his entire life for this moment. Holding WWE gold is in his DNA. I'm not a big fan of pressure. How many more of those can he take? Sharpshooter. Hart's got the sharpshooter locked no, in. Seemed to have a counter for every hold in the book. Yokozuna with a huge reversal. Somehow, some way, Bret Hart has found Yokozuna's number. Yokozuna is in serious trouble at the hands of the hitman. Do something, Mr. Fuji. Break out the ceremonial salt. The excellence of execution personified oh, here at WrestleMania 10 in beautiful New York City. Yokozuna has to dig deep right now. Come on, Yokozuna. Brutality on the verge of victory. And a kick out of one. These guest referee matches always have me on the edge of my seat. You really never know until that bell rings which way the back body drop. There goes the hitman to the top rope. Ooh. Yokozuna, unquestionably a monster. Yokozuna is on a mission tonight. Yes! Drag that broken down piece of garbage over there. Finish him! 
Your question is going up. The hitman Bret Hart's not moving. I can't believe what I've seen. He slipped. Your question is going for a massive bonsai drop. Slipped and fell. He looks knocked out to me, JR. He's seeing stars. He's going for the three count. Three. Here is your winner and new WWE Champion, Brett Hitman Hart. We have a new champion. Bret Hart has reclaimed the WWE Championship. Yoko Suna can't believe it. The big man went for the bonsai drop. He lost his footing and seemingly knocked himself out. Well, that made easy pickings for Bret Hart.